Little Miss Splendid's Gift. Oh, kind mirror. Thanks to you, I can look at myself all the time and admire my beauty. <laughs> but oh, goodness, who will all the people in Misterland have to look at when I'm on holiday? Little Miss Splendid was going away to Sea Town for four days. I have an idea. What luck to have run into you. Without your help, I would have missed Miss Splendid's invitation. I'm glad to be of help, Mr. Small. Oh, look. Here comes Miss Magic. Legs, shrink. Oh. Come on, get in. I'm going to the magic fish pond. That's very kind of you, Miss Magic, but I'm afraid that won't be possible. You see, we've been invited to Miss Splendid's house. Kindly change his legs back, or else we will be late. I see. Oh, well. Legs, stretch. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Magic. Magic. Oh. Oh. Apparently, a lot of people have been invited to Miss Splendid's party. Maybe Mr. Nosy hasn't. Oh, hello, Mr. Ruppity. Where are you going? Oh, my, this car's enormous. I say, if you're going to Miss Splendid's party, could you take me with you? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. No, I'll never get there on time. Mr. Nosy, are you off to Miss Splendid's house? Come along. Jump in. Oh, thanks. I'm very curious to know why she's invited so many other people. I am too, especially since she forgot to invite me. <laughs> Reason I have invited all of you here today is to celebrate a grand occasion. As you all know, I am leaving for four days to stay with my cousins in Seatown. Oh. During this time, I did not want to deprive you of my beauty, so... Mr. Strong, if you please. Oh. Isn't it a wonderful idea? While I'm away, you will still have this statue of me to admire. I have a better idea, Miss Splendid. Uh, uh, Miss Magic, I don't recall inviting you. Change into dolls. <laughs> How funny. I will place it on the mantel over my fireplace. Ha! A tall fellow like you should put it up on the roof. <laughs> I'll put mine in the garden to frighten all the birds away. You mean like a scarecrow? Well, if you put that in your garden, you'll frighten everything away. How rude. Will you kindly leave, Mr. Uppity? Don't worry, I'm going. You can keep your silly dolls. Goodbye. You have spoiled my party, Miss Magic. How can I go away? There is no Miss Splendid for everyone to admire. Soon fix that. Let there be two. There now. One of you can stay oh. while the other goes away. But, but which, which of us, us is, is the, the most beautiful? beautiful?
Hurry, Mr. Rush. Autumn is coming. It started like any other day for Mr. Rush. And as usual, it began at a hundred miles an hour. The time now is 7.32 and two seconds. And now the weather. Today is the first day of autumn. The leaves will start to fall at 5.30. Autumn? Oh, no. That means I only have today left to paint the house. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. I must hurry. All of those in the ladder. That's typical of Mr. Rush. Always in a hurry. I saw you as I was passing, Mr. Rush, so I thought I'd pop in for a visit. Uh, do you have a minute? Not even a second. No time at all. I'm painting my house. Oh, I'll help you then. Grab a hat and a brush and a paint pot and let's get to work. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I have a better idea. Rather than paint, you can blow on the paint to make it dry faster. Oh, I know how to do that. It's what I do with my hot chocolate every morning. Instead of talking, Mr. Clumsy, blow. <laughs> no. At this rate, I will never finish tonight. Oh, don't you worry. I'll pull it off. Five twenty-five and ten seconds. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Clumsy. You would be a lot more help if you went to uh, to get me the latest tape by uh, uh, Mr. Noisy and the Noisettes. With pleasure, Mr. Rush. Uh, Mr. Mr. Noisy. It must be a new band. I've never heard of them. <laughs> me neither. I'll be back soon to help you finish. Whoops. No hurry. Take your time. Little Miss Chatterbox was out walking and decided to visit Mr. Rush. Hello, Mr. Rush. I was just out for a walk and I said to myself, why not drop in on Mr. Rush? Yes, well, that's that, that, very nice, but you see, I'm in a bit of a hurry. But what is this I see? Painting your house, are you? What a wonderful idea, especially just before the autumn when the weather gets foul and the wind begins to blow and the leaves begin to fall and it gets cold and foggy and it rains or snows and the paint won't dry. Well, that's it exactly. Yes, so I, I would very much like to finish. It was nice seeing you, Miss Chatterbox. Bye-bye. I would love a cup of tea before I go. Here, drink up, drink up. Normally, I have it with two sugar lumps and a splash of milk. <laughs> there, is that better? Very good of you to have come. Have a safe journey home. Goodbye. Oh, no, it's not dry. Come here, little leaf. Oh, that's a good little leaf. Come, come here, come, 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 come. Oh, hello, Mr. Rush. It's me. Guess what? I found your tape. Listen to this. It's fantastic. Ready? It must be the noisiest band in Mr. Land. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no! <laughs> Never mind. You can change the name of your house to Hotton Cottage. <laughs>
One day in the life of Mr. Perfect. Good morning, Miss Splendid. What a splendid day. Good morning, Mr. Perfect. Yes, it's quite, well, perfect. Good morning, Miss Neat. And good morning to you, Mr. Perfect. What a popular fellow Mr. Perfect is, isn't he? Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. It's going along in an alignment. Why do I have a blood on that? A beautiful day, Mr. Grumpy. Would you not agree? Beautiful? I hadn't noticed. Why? Just look at that bright blue sky. I hate blue. 2001. How are you today, Mr. Appetit? 2001. 2001. Oh, no. Now you made me lose count. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Appleton, are you all right? No! No, I'm not! Thanks to you! Leave me alone! Well, good day, all the same, Mr. Appleton. What an irritating little nuisance that Mr. Perfect is! He's always so annoyingly happy! I couldn't agree more, Mr. Appleton. It's just not natural to be so perfect all of the time. I think it's high time somebody did something about it. You're right, Mr. Grumpy, and I think we're just about the right sort of somebody's to do that something. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Perfect's house is simply perfect, not a tile out of place. And just look at Mr. Perfect, not a hair out of place. Okay, allow me. Why, Mr. Messy, you look even more messy than usual. Thank you, Mr. Perfect. What rotten luck! Well, we're not giving up just yet. After shopping, Mr. Perfect decided to go straight home. <laughs> Oh, poor thing. It must be hungry. No problem. I still have my eggs. What? I do believe it. We've got him this time, Mr. Grumpy. Start the fan. <laughs> Is there nothing that will upset him? Mr. Perfect's book is obviously very interesting. of you both to pop round and mow my lawn. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present Mr. Perfect with this Best Citizens Award for rescuing Mr. Uppity and Mr. Grumpy. Speech! Speech! Oh, speech! Come on, yes, you words! <laughs> Thank you. But I'm sure even Mr. Uppity and Mr. Grumpy would agree. No one's perfect.
Mr. Uppity's big house. Mr. Uppity was very proud of his house. I say, since this is the biggest, grandest house in the big town, everyone should have a chance to see it. I have a wonderful idea. I'll sell tickets at the doorway and make lots and lots of money. Yes, lots and lots of money. Of course, Mr. Uppity needed help, so he hired Mr. Forgetful to sell tickets. The first person to arrive was Little Miss Splendid. I would like a ticket, Mr. Forgetful. Uh, the most expensive, if you please. Well, they're, they're, they're all the same price, Miss Splendid. They're, um, they're tenpence, yeah. No, 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 they're, they're, they're one pound. <laughs> no, no, that's not right. Oh, I've forgotten the price of the ticket. Oh. Here, let me. One ticket, Miss Splendid. One pound fifty, thank you. And the next, please. Then Mr. Uppity hired little Miss Shy to show the visitors around his enormous house. But poor little Miss Shy was so bashful and timid, she hid under the stairs. And Mr. Uppity had to take the visitors around himself. Hurry along there. There's still much more to see. Like these extremely interesting pictures of me. Me sailing. Me. Climbing. Me on the safari. My word, I sell the tickets. I show everyone around. There's so much to do. I can't do everything myself. I need someone to do the cleaning. Someone who won't break my china or damage my painting. Morning, Mr. Uppity. You? Mr. Clumsy? Surely you haven't come about the cleaning job? <laughs> yes, I am, Mr. Uppity. Please, give me a chance. The trouble is, Mr. Clumsy, things seem to break when you're around. And I have so many very expensive, very breakable things. Trust me, Mr. Uppity. I promise I'll be ever so careful. And so, Mr. Clumsy went to work, repeating to himself, I mustn't break anything. Oh, 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 oh dear. I must not break anything. Oh, you won't tell, Mr. Uppity, will you? <laughs> How lucky for Mr. Clumsy. The picture wasn't spoilt after all. But now he was even more careful. He cleaned, he polished. And he didn't break a single thing. Good work, Mr. Clumsy. Oh, oh, oh. Now, look what you've done. That was my favorite vase and the most expensive. Oh, oh, that was close. All right, Mr. Clumsy, you saved it. But I can't take any more risks. I'm going to put it away in a safe place. Oh. <coughs> Where is everybody? There's only one word to describe you, Mr. Arpity. Clumsy.
Little Miss Busy takes a break. After supper with Mr. Greedy, Little Miss Magic was returning home. It was very late. At this late hour, the inhabitants of Tiddletown are all asleep. Well, almost all. What do we have here? Let's take a look. There's Little Miss Busy, and she's as busy as ever. Poor Little Miss Busy. She never gets a moment's rest. Soon take care of that. Clever magic. Help Miss Busy Lizzie clean the house for little Miss Busy. <laughs> little Miss Busy went sadly off to bed. There was nothing left for her to do. After a good night's sleep, little Miss Busy was eager to get to work. to make you well. I just don't understand what's wrong. Oh, dear. Look at this. Oh, please, Miss Busy, now, if, if you would just keep still. Well, <laughs> Doctor Make You Well, I have to say I'm feeling better by the minute. No, no, Miss Busy, I really think it would be wise for you to take a rest. Take a rest? Quite the opposite. I need to keep busy. But there's nothing for me to do at home. <laughs> you, Miss Busy, nothing to do. Come now, I know very well how hard you work at home. I insist that you take a holiday, ten days at least, and I know the very people you can stay with. The one thing in the world that Little Miss Busy hated more than anything else was holidays. At least I shall be able to help whomever it is Dr. Makewell has arranged for me to stay with. How do you do? I'm Little Miss Busy. Dr. Makewell sent me. Hello. We were expecting you. I am Little Miss Neat. And I'm Little Miss Tidy. Oh! Ah. There now. Come, Faye. Oh! Little Miss Busy's holiday was a disaster. What with Little Miss Neat's neatness and Little Miss Tidy's tidying up, there was nothing for her to do. It was all too much for Little Miss Busy. After three days of doing nothing, she went home. Oh, no! It's even cleaner than when I left. Hello, Little Miss Busy. How are you? Oh, my goodness gracious! Whatever is the matter? Look at it! Not a wrinkle in the rug or a speck of dust to be seen. What has happened to my house? It doesn't need cleaning anymore. What am I going to do for the rest of my holiday? Oh, my, oh, my! What have I done? I am so terribly sorry it's all my fault. But wait! Clever magic now be vanished. Cleanliness is to be banished. Clever magic, make this holiday successful. With a flash and a sparkle, bring us Little Miss Helpful. How do you do? I've come for the week. It's very kind of you to let me stay. People don't generally invite me. Oh, really? Why is that? I really don't know. Oh, well, you can put your suitcase down there. What? Ah! Oh, sorry. Mm. Not to worry, Little Miss Helpful. I have a feeling it's going to be a busy week. You're just what the doctor ordered. Or what he should have ordered. <laughs> oh. Thank <laughs> you.
Mr. Mischief is caught at his own game. <laughs> when Mr. Mischief chuckles like this, you know he's up to no good. Mr. Lazy. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Mr. Lazy. <laughs> it worked. Now, what else do I have here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> A handkerchief for Mr. Sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> this is a present for Mr. Nosy. Boxes. Nothing but boxes with nothing inside them. <laughs> Mr. Stamp, the postman, is here. Oh, thank you, Mr. Stamp. Would you be kind enough to deliver these parcels for me? Why, of course, Mr. Mischief. Mr. Lazy, Mr. Sneeze, and Mr. Nosy. Oh, that's lucky. They all live near little Miss Catabrain, and I have a letter for her. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. <laughs> they will be delighted. <laughs> What's that up there? Where? <laughs> up there? Well, I can't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. I must be off. Ooh! That Mr. Mischief. He just can't resist playing tricks. Now, where on earth is little Miss Scatterbox's letterbrain? Uh, I, I, I mean, Miss Scatterbrain's a letterbox. Dear, oh dear, all this going backwards is muddling. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Um, uh, 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 Lamp. <laughs> How nice of you to um, uh, visit. Oh, I'm not Mr. Lamp. I'm Mr. Stump. Oh, of course, silly me. <laughs> now, um, uh, let me see. Um, uh, you must have a, a, a letter. Well done. Oh, no. Whatever will I do now? <laughs> Mr. Mischief, I might have guessed. May I ask a favour, little Miss Catherine? But, of course, um, uh, m m Mr. Um, Stamp. Well, I, I thought if I could sort of go through this... Oh, and then he would not... Miss Busy couldn't believe her eyes. Busy couldn't believe her eyes. This is fantastic. An alarm clock that keeps ringing. I can work even longer now. And Mr. Small got a surprise. Just what I needed. A new tablecloth. <laughs> Let's see if my presents have arrived. Oh, they'll do fine. What's perfect about a lot of empty boxes? Why, the big box will make an ideal dining table and the others will do for chairs. Only Mr. Mean is mean enough to find a use for Mr. Mischief's empty boxes. Hmm. He hasn't received my alarm clock. Are you looking for something, Mr. Mischief? Uh, well, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, have you delivered my parcels? Well, someone played a trick on me, so I let Miss Scatterbrain deliver your parcels. They will most certainly have arrived by now. By the way, I have a parcel here for you. Ooh, goody, goody. I can't think. But... Oh! Now, I wonder who that could have been from.
Little Miss Tidy loses a friend. The first thing Little Miss Tidy does when she returns from holiday is to unpack. Little Miss Tidy enjoys nothing better than unpacking. Mother, now where did I put the key for my suitcases? Oh dear, oh, silly me. I put them there so I wouldn't lose them. <laughs> I would offer you a cup of tea, but I must finish unpacking. What a wonderful idea. We'd love a cup of tea. Oh, not in there. Oh, there. Oh, but she can't remember where she's put the tea. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> the tea was in the sewing box. <laughs> Yes, please. Just one green, please. Oh, yuck! This tea tastes of salt. Poor little Miss Tidy put salt in the sugar bowl by mistake. I must remember that next time I have someone round for tea. <laughs> I've got an idea. Let's have some fun. May I use your phone? Why, of course. Help yourself. Now, I wonder what she's up to. Tea's ready. The sugar is in the sugar bowl. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I must finish tidying up. There's nothing like a tidy house. That sounds like Little Miss Tiny. Where are you, little Miss Tiny? Don't know. I can't see a thing. I'm afraid. Oh, my goodness. Help! Help has arrived. It's little Miss Helpful, the most unhelpful person in the world. What or who could have brought her round? Little Miss Travel phoned to say you needed some help tidying up. <laughs> Oh, Miss Trouble, I might have guessed you'd be up to something. Who? May? It just so happens, Miss Helpful, that you may be able to help. We've lost Miss Tiny. <laughs> oh. Little Miss Tiny, where are you? I don't know, but I'm next to something cold with a long pipe. It can't be my hairdryer. I saw that earlier in the refrigerator while looking for the milk. It must be the hoover. <laughs> but where did I put it? <laughs> Little Miss Tiny, if you find a button, press it. <laughs> Tea will perk you up. No, thank you. I think I'd rather go home. But it's such a long way. But you only live next door. Yes, but only next door for you is a long way for me. Well, I'll come with you then. No, thank you. <laughs> Taxi, please, little Miss Tidy. Of course, right away. Now, where did I put the telephone?
Mr. Funny puts on a show. It was a beautiful, bright and sunny morning in Mr. Land. And everyone was up especially early. Good morning, Miss Neat. Mr. Clumsy was already up preparing his breakfast. Mr. Greedy had already drunk ten cups of coffee and eaten two dozen eggs. And Mr. Strong opened his... Oh, dear. And why is everyone so excited? There were trapeze artists, jugglers, acrobats, and, of course, the star attraction, Chuckles, the funniest clown in the world. But of all the Mr. Men and Little Misses, Mr. Funny was by far the most excited. Chuckles the Clown was Mr. Funny's hero. <laughs> it's just too, too much! <laughs> Mr. Funny set out extra early to get a front row seat. Hello now! yoo -hoo. Hey, hey, I say, it's Mr. Funny! <laughs> Oh, uh, am I too early? Is, is anyone here? Where is everyone? Where everyone was, was in bed, ill. We've got measles. I mean, everybody's got measles. Oh, who hasn't got measles? I mean, I don't know I'd had them, but I've got them again. I've got measles. I'm afraid there won't be any show tonight. Mr. Funny couldn't believe it. Then he had an idea. Tight rope, and then the whole thing would go, and I mean, ha, 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 Mr. Bump, with Mr. Bump. That's a terrific idea, Mr. Funny. We'd be delighted to help. Yeah, count me in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really, sure, yeah. What? And that night, at the circus... Hello, everyone! I'm Mr. Noisy. I'm afraid I have some bad news. The circus performers all have measles. However, the show will go on. And so it did. Little Miss Naughty opened the show with a splash. Mr. Strong astonished everyone with the show of his strength. Mr. Topsy Turvy performed on the tightrope. And while Mr. Tickle made sure that no one stopped laughing, Mr. Bump <laughs> was just Mr. Bump. But the best and funniest moment of all was when Mr. Funny came out pulling the funniest faces anyone had ever seen. <laughs> oh, oh, stop it, Mr. Funny. Please don't. <laughs> Even Mr. Grumpy laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> the show was a great success. And everyone thanked Mr. Funny for his brilliant idea. Thank you, Mr. Funny. Splendid show. Splendid. But Mr. Funny was still very sad not to have seen Chuckles perform. Uh, who could that be? Hello, Mr. Funny. I want to give you this cup for being the funniest man oh, in Mr. Uh, Land. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Oh, 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 that was funny. Ah, oh, please come in. We'll have some tea. Thank you. <laughs> and what a tea party it was. Twenty custard pies in the face and ten buckets of jelly down the neck. <laughs> You're too well. <laughs> yeah, we're still funny. <laughs>
An unforgettable Sunday for Miss Tiny. Little Miss Tiny lives in a mouse hole. I need a bit more wool, but I don't know where I can find some. It's much too difficult to climb up as high as that when you are so very small. I'm going off to market, dear. See you later. So, girl, happy to be going to market, are we? Ooh. I wonder if perhaps this adventure wasn't such a bad idea after all. It's an excellent way to see the countryside. Oh, oh dear, <laughs> not this awful hay fever again. Hello, and who are you? <laughs> he certainly isn't much of a chatterbox. Since I'm at the market, I might as well do some shopping. I'm going to buy some bread. I'd like two crumbs of bread, please. <laughs> I didn't see you down there. My pleasure, madam. Oh, 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 somebody please help! Stop, thief! Oh, oh, oh dear! Oh, oh. Goodness me, it really is time to be getting on home. Little Miss Tiny is all alone and much too far away from home for her little legs. Oh, oh. Hello! Mr. Rush, please! Oh. Oh. It will soon be dark and then I'll really be lost. I'll never see my house again. Oh dear, I'm all wet and cold. Is anyone there? Yes, it's me. Good gracious, I nearly stepped on you. Who are you? Mr. Bounce, at your service. What can I do for you? Could you possibly help me find my way back to Home Farm? Let's see. That's not exactly nearby, but I don't mind taking you. <sighs> Fasten your seatbelt. Ready for takeoff! Thank you very much. I will never forget your kindness. If you like the trip, I could always take you out again next Sunday. Thank you, Mr. Bounce. Goodbye! It's all soggy. Never mind, I'll make some bread and butter pudding. And next Sunday, I'll give some to Mr. Buns.
Mr. Chatterbox loses his voice. Hello, everybody. Now, who is this coming down the street? Hello, how are you? Beautiful day today, wouldn't you say? A little chilly, perhaps, but better this than rain, wouldn't you agree? And speaking of rain, that reminds me of a story. Well, of all the... disappearing in the middle of a conversation without so much as a goodbye. There are simply no manners anymore. Things were not like that in my day. People knew how to be polite at least. What a time we're living in. Yes, it's Mr. Chatterbox. Oh, did you really? Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Oh, well, they do, don't they? Oh, yes. Oh, it's shocking, isn't it? Shocking. Oh, it's a cold. Shocking. Hello. Oh, quick, it's Mr. Chatterbox. Oh, I'm not stopping here. I'm going down this side street. Here. Poor Mr. Chatterbox. He can't find anyone to talk to. I wonder why the sky is blue. I wonder why the leaves are green. Hello, little Miss Curious. A very good day to you. I wonder why people say hello. Well, because that's how it is, little Miss Curious. It's a way of greeting people and wishing them a good day. Some people shake hands, others kiss, I raise my hat. Is your hat green? You see, my father used to wear a green hat. My grandfather wore a green hat, and my great-grandfather wore a green hat before that. It's a long story, and a very interesting one, too. I would be very happy to tell it to you over a cup of tea at my house. Why not? <laughs> well, I don't recall whether I told you that I'm a tea specialist. I'm familiar with over a hundred varieties, and what's more, I have all of them at the house. Those two should get along well, don't you agree? Mr. Chatterbox and Little Miss Curious have been talking all week. But by the end of the week... Why have you stopped talking, Mr. Chatterbox? I'm leaving, Mr. Chatterbox. I don't see the point of staying with someone who won't answer my questions. As soon as I heard the news, I called you, Doctor. You did the right thing, little Miss Chatterbox. It's not that I'm worried, Doctor. I mean, I'm sure it's nothing serious, but just the same, he is my brother, and you understand I'm his sister, and we've known each other for such Say, a long time, uh, and I mean, I was worried. Uh, hmm. Well, it's simple. You've lost your voice. Oh, what a relief. Mind you, I wasn't really worried, and I said so to the Doctor only a little while ago. Isn't that exactly what I said to you, Doctor? <laughs> You mustn't say a word for eight days, Mr. Chatterbox, and everything will return to normal. Don't worry, I'll look after you. You know very well you can count on your sister to look after you, don't you? You can make signs, and I'm sure we'll be able to understand each other splendidly. And during eight long days, Mr. Chatterbox didn't utter a single word. Eight days later, just as the doctor said, Mr. Chatterbox's voice came back. He can take his daily stroll again as usual. Poor Mr. Chatterbox doesn't look at all well, does he? Oh, did you really? Oh! <laughs> oh, quick! It's Mr. Chatterbox! What is the matter, Mr. Chatterbox? Everybody avoids me, Doctor. I didn't understand why before, but now I know. It's because I talk too much. Yes, I see. Hmm. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> what should I do, Doctor? Here you are. That'll fix it. It's midnight. You're listening to Chatterbox Radio. 95.7 on your dial. The non-stop talk radio where you hear nothing but chatter. That's right. Now everyone is happy. Mr. Chatterbox can talk as much as he likes, and everyone else can tune in and listen to him only when they want to. Chatter, chatter, Thank <laughs> you.
Uh, he hello, little Miss Shy. It's little Miss Shy, the shyest person there ever was. Or was she? aren't frightening. They're nice. What is little Miss Shy up to? Morning exercises? Uh, uh, hello, little Miss Shy. Oh. oh, I see. Little Miss Shy is practicing not to be so shy. Uh, hello, Mr. Postman. And not to hide when the postman brings the post. Hurry up, Mr. Bump. The show has begun already. Uh, I know, I know, but I ran into a tree on my way here. Quick, quick! One ticket, if you please. I can only stay five minutes, then I have to be off again. Yeah, for goodness sake, Mr. Rush, at least take the time to sit down. I don't have time. I've only come to see Balthasar, the acrobatic lion, and then I must go. Hey, Balthasar has escaped! Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I think I ran into him at the end of the road. Why didn't you tell us sooner? to Mr. Stamp, the postman. Oh, good heavens! Did I frighten him? Oh, dear. I must get my letter. Oh, my! They are looking for a lion that has escaped from the circus. He's not dangerous. He's a shy lion. I can understand why he ran away. A creature having to perform before all those people. Oh, there's a picture of him. Oh, how silly, putting a flower pot with a daisy on a lion's head. What a ridiculous idea. A daisy! <coughs> he, he's not dangerous, remember? He's shy. Maybe even more shy than me. Open up, Little Miss Shy. I am the circus ringmaster, and I'm looking for Balthasar. Oh, oh, the postman uh, told me that he saw him here. Don't be afraid. Leave the poor creature alone. He is not made for the circus. He is afraid of people. It's cruel to keep him locked up when he longs to be free. But... No buts. I insist that Balthazar... To be set free. To be set free. With your permission, a little Miss Shy. But she's a jolly friend, oh, but she's a jolly friend, oh, but she's a jolly friend, oh, but no good can be done. It's easier to be brave when you're protecting someone more helpless than yourself. Oh, oh! You do waste a lot of time falling down, Mr. Bump. Ah, here's the postman. Telegram of congratulations for little Miss Shy. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Postman. <laughs>
An invitation for Mr. Meshley. Mr. Messi lives in the messiest house you have ever seen. He never cleans it, and he never has a bath. <sighs> Letter for you, Mr. Messi. Thank you, Mr. Stamp. Oh, dear. Mr. Stamp is going to have to send all his clothes to the cleaners. Tasting to tea with little Miss Scatterbrain this afternoon. Oh, great! An invitation at last. How strange. So little Miss Scatterbrain has asked Mr. Messy to tea. He's so messy, nobody ever wants him around. Little Miss Scatterbrain must surely have made a mistake. Oh, yes, yes. Now I shan't arrive empty handed. Look before you cross the road. Oh, Mr. Rush, what a fright you gave me. I nearly went all dizzy and fainted. I must be on my way. I'm invited to tea with little Miss Scatterbrain. Well, how funny. I'm invited to little Miss Scatterbrain too. Well, hop in quickly. We're both in a hurry now. What a beautiful car you have here. Yes, bought it new last week. Just a minute. There's a speck of dust on the windscreen. Please allow me. Oh, um, what can I do for you? Good afternoon, little Miss Scatterbrain. You asked me to tea, but I can only stay five minutes. Yes, and thank you for inviting me. Tea? Um, oh, uh, of course. I'd completely forgotten. Tea is ready. Please help yourselves to biscuits. There isn't a speck of dust on any of them. Mm. Well, no, I really must be on my way. Oh, uh, let me open my lovely present first. Oh! Ouch! It's too hot. Are you sure? And just how am I going to wash the milk now? Well, this one is too hard. This one is too soft. Oh, I am sorry. Oh. Do let me help you. No! I must go and have a wash. Oh, um, uh, you're leaving already? I really must go and finish the housework. Help! Uh, help! Please, stop him! Well, I, I'd better be going. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, before you go, would you please help me put up my um, uh, lovely white curtains? Certainly. Would you hand me the um, uh, curtains? Certainly. Well, what do you think? Well, they look a bit dirty to me. Well, I must be going now. Goodbye, Mr. Um, uh, uh, Messy, and thank you for your help. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Rush! That's good. I won't need a bath tonight.
Mr. Dizzy goes doggy sitting. I'm coming! <laughs> I'm coming! Hello! <laughs> Hello! Ah, Mr. Dizzy, <laughs> I'm Mr. Clever. I'm entering a competition, and so I've come to ask you if you'd mind looking after my dog. I shall be proud to look after your dog. I rather hope that my dog will be proud of you. Oh, yes. In Cleverland, even the animals are clever. Rex, like his master, is very, very smart. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Rex, here's Mr. Dizzy, who will look after you while I'm away. Meow? <laughs> Meow? Don't worry. He's a little dizzy. Look, I've... I've got a present for you, Doggy. <laughs> Hello, Doggy. <laughs> yeah, put that in the fridge and get ready for our walk. <laughs> oh. 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 What? Did I do something wrong? <laughs> ready for walkies. Where are we going? To the park. Here you are, nice doggy. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with it? I say, your friend's a bit dizzy, Rex. Can he at least sit up and beg? He doesn't like sugar. I'm sure he'd prefer a little pepper. <laughs> we take out our handkerchief when we sneeze, Mr. Dizzy. <laughs> uh, what did I do wrong? First, give me that bone, arm the dog, and give me the collar. You look ridiculous with that figure round your neck. <laughs> Everybody makes fun of me. I'm tired of being so dizzy. Don't be that way. You're not as silly as all that. Just tell yourself you're clever. Oh, I'm clever. <laughs> I'm clever. <laughs> I'm clever. Perfect. Perfect. I'm clever. <laughs> I'm clever. Yeah, that's good. Now, put the collar around my neck. I'm only a dog and you're my master. What will we do? We're going to teach two bad people a lesson. <laughs> we can get a winning car. <laughs> Rex and Mr. Dizzy waited for Little Miss Trouble and Mr. Uppity to return. My dear Dizzy, are you still quite as dizzy? Eh, no. <laughs> I'm clever now. Oh! <laughs> ah, just go! I see you still have a cold. Well, I've got just the remedy. <laughs> Here, breathe this in. It's very good for colds. Well, I just need a little bit more. Could you fill Mr. Uppity's hat? With pleasure, my dear Dizzy. <laughs> oh, you excuse me. How dizzy I am. <laughs> there now. That's how, with the help of Rex, Mr. Dizzy became more clever. <laughs>
What a choice for little Miss Fickle. Do you know what little Miss Fickle's problem is? Hello. She can never make up her mind. Oh, now, um, oh, no, not that one. Uh, what about green? Oh, no, blue. Um, orange. Uh, no, red. Poor little Miss Fickle can never make up her mind. Three letters for you, little Miss Fickle. Goodness me. I don't believe it. Oh, what on earth should I do? What is going on, little Miss Fickle? Oh, Miss Magic, what a disaster. Mr Strong, Mr Small and little Miss Wise have all invited me round this afternoon. So, what is the problem? Well, I don't know which invitation to accept. If I go to Mr Strong's house, then Mr Small and Little Miss Wise will be upset. And if I choose Little Miss Wise, Mr Strong and Mr Small will be sad. I'll never be able to choose. Please don't worry. Listen to me. Little Miss Fickle will be three. Have fun, all of you. So, little Miss Fickle went to see Mr Strong, who, being Mr Strong, prepared a meal of eggs for her. Just wait till you taste this omelette. You'll absolutely love it. I wonder if I wouldn't prefer fried eggs after all. No problem. And I've even managed not to break the yolks. Do you know how to make boiled eggs? No problem. There you are. Actually, I don't think I fancy eggs after all. Um, I'd love a cup of tea, though. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Mr Small and the second Miss Fickle were playing hide-and-seek. Seven, eight, nine, ten. You're supposed to hide, little Miss Fickle. But I can't decide where. I wonder what our third little Miss Fickle was doing at little Miss Wise's house. There is a very good cartoon series. We're going to have great fun. I wonder what's on the other channels. Ah, sport. But what about Channel 9? Good afternoon, and here is the news. Please stop. I wish you'd make your mind up, little Miss Fickle. This is making me quite dizzy. After such an eventful afternoon, our three little Miss Fickles are happy to be home again. But three little Miss Fickles getting dinner ready? Can you imagine that? Uh, what's for dinner? Um, sausages? And uh, why not bananas? I think I'd rather have steak. And how about some cake? No, eggs would be much nicer. A green salad? No, spaghetti. And why not mashed potato? Goodness me, this really won't do at all. What on earth is going on? They, they can't, can't make, make up, up their, their mind. mind. I understand. What a pickle. Let there be just one little Miss Fickle. Oh, whoops. Phew. Thank you, little Miss Magic. My pleasure. But I think that from now on, you really will have to manage by yourself, you know. Goodbye now. I'm invited to a very splendid party for very splendid people. Would you like to come? Um, uh, uh, wait, just a moment. There's someone at the door. I'm going to a sausage eating competition. <laughs> Do you want to come along? Um, I'm not sure.
Happy Christmas, Mr. Worry. Have you ever noticed how happy everyone is on Christmas Eve? But, of course, who could be happier than little Miss Sunshine? Merry Christmas, Mr. Rush. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Mr. Strong. Merry Christmas, Miss Sunshine. Where are you going with all those trees? To Mr. Worry's house. He is terribly worried, you know. But why? You're late, Mr. Strong. I was so worried. But you see, I finally made it. So there's nothing to worry about, is there? Yes, there is. I'm very worried. Come on in and I'll tell you. Do you like my Christmas tree? It's magnificent, Mr. Worry. Doesn't it lean over a little? Listen, Mr. Worry. I honestly think that your tree is the most beautiful one in town. Well, that's exactly what's worrying me. Everyone should have a, a beautiful tree. Otherwise, Father Christmas will be very disappointed and it'll spoil everything. Come along, Mr. Strong. We haven't a minute to lose. Hello, Mr. Mean. Do you have a nice Christmas tree? Yes, of course I do. I kept the one I had last year. But Father Christmas will be most disappointed if he sees that you haven't made an effort. You may not get any presents. Oh, no presents. It must have cost a fortune. But a real Christmas tree is beautiful, isn't it? Right. Hello, little Miss Tidy. Have you decorated your Christmas tree? Yes, but uh, I've forgotten where I put it away. Oh, no, little Miss Tidy. You should know better. I am sorry. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. But of course I have a tree. Um, a, a magnificent one at that. Come and see. See? I told you. But, little Miss Scatterbrain, that's a hat stand you've decorated, not a tree. To work, Mr. Strong. And all day long, Mr. Worry and Mr. Strong put up magnificent Christmas trees for everyone in Mr. Land. Even though Mr. Worry is now sure that everyone has a beautiful tree, he just can't stop himself from worrying. What if Father Christmas catches a cold? And will he be able to get down Mr. Worry's chimney? And the next morning... Oh, oh, Father Christmas has come. What a big parcel. I do hope I can open it. Oh, oh, well, that looks fun. For Mr. Worry, so that he can relax and worry a little less. Best wishes, Father Christmas. Oh, happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Uh, uh, happy Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, happy happy Christmas. Christmas. Thanks to Mr. Worry, everyone had had a visit from Father Christmas. Mr. Mean had received a superb collection of chocolate money. Little Miss Tidy was also delighted. Unfortunately, Little Miss Scatterbrain had already lost her present. As for Mr. Strong, it looked as though he was going to get even stronger. Something wrong, old chap? I wonder if next Christmas will be as much fun. I mean, you know, I, I worry about that.
Mr. Bump goes on a trip. Oh dear, Mr. Bump hasn't got off to a very good start. But you see, today isn't just a normal day. He's going on a trip. Oh, 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 Oh! A good breakfast is just what I need before setting off. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. Yes, I, I'm coming, I'm coming. Fancy that. Mr. Bump has made it over to the door without an accident. Oh! Ah, little Miss Busy? I actually came over to give you a going-away present. Dear me, look at all this mess. Are you all right? Oh, not to worry. I'm quite used to it. Look, this is for you. Oh, lovely. A scarf. I knitted it myself. Oh, how kind of you. I wear it on the beach. It will stop me getting sunburned. Thanks ever so much. Um, uh, perhaps you uh, need something cleaned or um, polished in there? No, no, everything's just fine. I really must be going. I have to put a bandage on. Oh, fiddlesticks. My lovely scarf. Oh, 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 oh. Really, it's not my day. I'd better just hurry up or I'll miss the train. Wait for me! Oh, oh, wait for me! Oh! If this bus doesn't come, I'm going to miss my train. I, I know. I could always hitchhike. They can't miss this. Wow! <laughs> That's some thumb. I'm late for my train. Well, come on then. Jump in quickly. Don't dilly dally. Here we go. <laughs> Why won't anyone stop? Hmm. You look uh, familiar, but I, I simply can't remember your uh, uh, name. Oh, yes, you can, Mr. Forgetful. I'm Mr. Bump. Remember? Uh, who, who is this, Mr. Um, you know, uh, Forgetful chap? Well, that's you. Uh, why, of, uh, of course. Uh, what's my thinking um, of? Uh, do me a favour, Mr. Forgetful. Please take me to the station. But of, uh, um, of course. Oh! We're going backwards. So we uh, are. There you go. We've uh, um, arrived. I'm so glad you haven't missed your, uh, you know, um, plane. Plane? What plane? I'm taking a train. Oh, no. Mr. Forgetful has left me at the airport. Oh! 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 Now Mr. Bump is having the best holiday of his life. And he has made lots of new friends.
Mr. Nosy solves a mystery. Mr. Nosy is busy at his favorite pastime, spying on the neighbors. Nothing new today. <laughs> well, well, well. Here's Mr. Stamp coming to pay me a visit. I have something for you, Mr. Nosy. But what's it doing in my bag? Please let go. Oh. These letters are not for you. Here, this is for you. Oh. Goodbye, Mr. Nosy. <laughs> Nothing interesting. Oh, wait. What's this? Detective needed to solve mystery. Contact Mr. Worry. Oh, at last, someone needs my help. What are you doing? Don't you need a detective to solve a mystery? Did you read that in the paper? Oh, I'm better than any detective. A member of your family? Why do you want to know that? To help solve the mystery, of course. The mystery isn't here. It's in the garden. Every day my apples disappear. I can't even sleep at night. I think I know where to begin. Oh, oh. No apples on the menu today, Mr. Greedy. <laughs> I wonder where he hides them. Mr. Nosy. Nosiness is a terrible thing. Well, I can't tell you now, but I'm on a special mission for Mr. Worry. His apples are disappearing. Somebody gave them to me this morning. Who? Mustard. Those, those apples are full of hot, hot, hot. M mustard. <laughs> well, no need to tell me who gave you those apples. Someone's going to have some fun. <laughs> me! Mm, I knew it. I knew it. Only little Miss Trouble does things like that. You're under arrest. Oh. Time to give these to Mr. Worry. Are you certain little Miss Trouble won't come and take more of my apples? Don't worry. Mysteries great or small, Nosy solves them all. Heavens, what's happening? Thanks to Mr. Nosy, Mr. Worry got his apples back. So, oh, you've known Little Miss Trouble since play school. <laughs> Maybe she was just trying to get her own back. You're really too nosy, Mr. Nosy. That's what they always say when I learn one of their secrets. <laughs>
No food is no fun for Mr. Greedy. Mr. Greedy doesn't need an alarm clock. His tummy wakes him up in the mornings. <laughs> I'm hungry again. Oh, oh no. I don't believe my eyes. Oh, I'm sure they were full last night. I must have eaten more than I thought. I'd better hurry out and do some shopping. Hello, Mr. Greedy. Oh, hello there, little Miss Greedy. Hello, Mr. Greedy. Oh, hello, Mrs. Crumb. Oh, I'd like a dozen loaves of bread, 15 apple pies and 20 hot cross buns, please. I'm so sorry, Mr. Greedy. We've sold out. You mean all gone? Little Miss Greedy was just here, and she bought <laughs> everything in the shop. Too bad about the bread. Still, I'll buy three dozen eggs from Mrs. Green. I'll make an omelette as big as that. No, bigger! Hello, Mr. Green. Three dozen of your biggest eggs, please. Here you are, Mr. Greedy. Sorry, Mr. Greedy. I don't believe it. It's never been empty before. My tummy's as empty as my wallet. What do you want? Anyway, I've got no money, you know. Oh, I'm sorry to disturb you, Mr. Mean, but oh, I'm terribly hungry. You wouldn't have a little piece of bread for me, would you? No, Mr. Greedy. I'm keeping the bread I have left over for tomorrow. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I must eat. I must eat, and soon. Oh. Please, Mr. Mischief. I haven't eaten a thing all morning. <laughs> Sorry, dear friend. <laughs> mm. Look. Mm. <laughs> that was my last. <laughs> Just look at me. I'm getting thinner by the minute. Good day to you, Mr. Greedy. How are you? Terrible. I haven't eaten once yet this morning. Oh, I've just finished my shopping. Come and have lunch with me. I've cooked you some fish. You like fish, I hope. Oh, like it? Oh, I love it. Oh, as long as I'm eating, I'm a happy man. I'm not oh, that oh, hungry, oh, are oh. you? Oh, oh, no. Help! I'm starving. Oh. <laughs> I need food! What a horrible dream! <laughs> it was then that a very odd thing happened to Mr. Greedy. His dream had been so awful that for the first time in his life he didn't feel hungry. Oh, no! <laughs>
A special friend for Little Miss Lucky. Today is Sunday, and Little Miss Lucky has invited some friends to spend the day with her. First of all, there's Little Miss Bossy, and Mr. Uppity, and finally Mr. Grumble. Hmm, I always get a one. My turn. I don't believe it. That's my fifth one since we began. Dawn, it's your go. Watch this. I'm going to win. Hmm. I'm sick and tired of this game. It's my go. Oh. 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 Six. <laughs> there it is. I've won. You always win, Miss Lucky. That's true. It's no fun playing with someone who's so lucky. We could play something else if you like. I've an idea. Let's play Skittles. Ah, a game of skill. Good idea. I don't like games of skill. Your lucky streak won't help you now, Miss Lucky. That's all right. I'm going first. No, let her go. That way we'll soon be rid of her. Here, Miss Lucky. Missed! <laughs> no! I'm not playing anymore. Huh? Me neither. Skittles, what a stupid game. <laughs> Poor little Miss Lucky. Suddenly she felt very sad. Hello, Miss Lucky. Hello, Mr. Bump. Oh, what's wrong? Nobody wants to play with me anymore because I'm too lucky. Too lucky? Oh, with me, it's just the opposite. I'd play a game with you, little Miss Lucky. Look out! <laughs> oh, how terrible! Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, don't worry, Miss Lucky. I'm used to it. <laughs> Are you all right, Mr. Bump? Fine, thank you, Miss Lucky. How do you manage to be so unlucky? I don't know, but I'd be surprised if it's over. <laughs> Are you all right, Mr. Bump? I wouldn't expect you to understand, Miss Lucky. Nothing to worry about. With my luck, about now, a flower pot should land on my head. Are you sure? Oh, I'm certain. Well, we shall soon see. Here goes. Yeah. Ah. Now do you understand the meaning of bad luck? That's incredible. So, how about that game of Skittles? to play? Absolutely certain. Careful now. Not too hard. Take your time. <laughs> A winner! Oh, congratulations, Mr. Bump. Well, how about that? <laughs> Little Miss Lucky has finally found a friend who will play with her on Sundays. And she's delighted.
Mr. Daydream talks to the stars. <laughs> it looks like a wonderful day for daydreams, Mr. Daydream. It does. Let's go. Mr. Happy has been reading his favourite book, Tarzan in Wonderland. <laughs> there he goes. Mr. Happy is on his way to Dreamland. Let's see what happens. <laughs> And here's little Miss Tiny. Mr. Skinny, how do you fancy a lollipop? Uh, yes, please. It'll fatten me up. Thank you, Mr. Happy. Just one will do nicely. Why don't you give the other one to Mr. Uppity? He's having to tread on eggs, poor chap. Uh, excuse me, I wonder if I could have the other lollipop to make a soldier. Oh, dear me. Silly, silly me. I forgot to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very worried because Mr. Uppity said thank you. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Worry. He did say thank you. And look how he's been rewarded. <laughs> what, what, what? Mr. Uppity, I'm taking you home in a flying hammock as a reward for saying thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. From now on, I'll always say thank you. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Daydream, and thank you for such a wonderful dream. Did you enjoy your journey? Oh, yes, I had such a good time. All these adventures have made me hungry. Would you like to stay for lunch? Well, I'd love to. After lunch, Mr. Daydream and Mr. Happy decided to go for a walk into town. Thank you, Mr. Happy. That was a delicious lunch. My pleasure, Mr. Daydream. I say, dreams do come true sometimes, don't they? <laughs> Why, of course they do. Do you see what I see? Yes, it's Mr. Skinny. He's sucking a lollipop. <laughs> now that rings a bell. All the same, little Miss Prim, I find it very worrying. Perhaps he is ill. On the contrary, Dr. Pill. At last, I shall be able to invite him round. And you don't find that worrying? What is so worrying, Mr. Worry? Well, you see, I've just met Mr. Uppity at the butcher's, and uh, he had his nose in the air. No, he said thank you. <laughs> I must be dreaming.
That's enough, little Miss Bossy. <laughs> little Miss Bossy is a strange lady. She can't stop giving orders even when she's home alone. Get up! Today is my birthday. I absolutely must get some friends to come over and bring some presents. Off we go! Hello! It's my birthday today, little Miss Greedy. So rather than stuffing yourself all the time, bring me a very large cake by four o'clock. Yo ho, little Miss Bossy! Stop that immediately, Mr. Bounce. Instead of bouncing up and down all day, bring me a gift at four o'clock. Today is my birthday. Little Miss Bossy ordered Mr. Lazy to come to her birthday party too. Birthday. <laughs> and Mr. Funny is also invited. It's my birthday today, and you're coming to my party, OK? <laughs> and you can take that silly green off your face. Where can they be? They can't have forgotten my birthday. Not before time. Merry Christmas. Oh, no, not you, little Miss Contrary. You weren't even invited. And I'm happy to see you, too. Oh, my. Such a lot of people. Well done. Everything is simply perfect. That does it, Miss Contrary. Instead of making fun of me, you can leave this instant. Oh, with pleasure. You are making me very angry, Miss Contrary. Get up immediately. With pleasure. <laughs> Stop, little Miss Contrary. Stop! I'm happy to see you too, Miss Bossy. Oh, do as you like. Well, if you insist, goodbye. For the first time in her life, little Miss Bossy has absolutely no desire to yell or give orders. After all, what is sadder than to find yourself alone on your birthday? Oh! Here comes Little Miss Curious. Uh, why are you walking with your head down? Because I'm sad. And why are you sad? Because my friends didn't come to my birthday party. And why didn't your friends come to your birthday party? Why didn't your friends come to your birthday party? Little Miss Bossy simply doesn't know the answer to that question. So she decides to go and ask someone who organises the very best parties, Little Miss Fun. Why, hello, Little Miss Bossy, come in, come in. <laughs> Wake up, Mr Lazy. Get up and dance, come on. <laughs> Stop stuffing yourself, Miss Greedy, and come and lose some weight on the dance floor. Oh. That's enough, Miss Bussy. What do you mean? Having a party means letting people behave as they wish. No one is stopping you from dancing, are they? Do you understand, Miss Bussy? Yes, I think I do. And that's how little Miss Bussy became a lot less bossy and how she came to have a lot more friends. <laughs>
Mr. Forgetful. Hey, waiter. Cheese, eggs, cauliflower, alarm clock, shoes. Mr. Forgetful is so forgetful that he can't remember what he's looking for. Milk. Of course, milk. That's what I need. I must buy some uh, milk. Hello, little Miss uh, uh, Dotty. I'm Little Miss Wise, Mr. Forgetful. Oh, what, of course. How silly of me. <laughs> Thank you, Little Miss Giggles. Bread. Yes, it must be bread that I came to buy. Hello again, Mr. Forgetful. You already bought two loaves this morning. Oh, I did? So what on earth did I come into town for? So, oh, you are the new waiter, then. Oh. You are late. Oh, I'm sorry. We have customers. Waiter? What about my order? Waiter? Where's my lemonade? Mm, I think I want that <laughs> some chocolate cake. Ooh, a peach melba and a clare and a strawberry milkshake for starters. A hot chocolate waiter and do hurry up. <laughs> Uh, a, a coffee eclair, a, a banana cake, strawberries and cream, and, um, oh, uh, 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 a giant vanilla Monday, uh, uh, Tuesday, uh, no, Sunday. Oh, what good timing, waiter. I am little Miss Splendid. Would you take care of my little dog while I go shopping? Hey, waiter, oh, I'm hungry. Uh, there you are, Mr. Uh, 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 But I ordered Peach Melba, not a Poodle Melba. I didn't order this, but <laughs> it's delicious anyway. <laughs> Patch, here, boy. Rex, dog. Oh, oh, what was his name again? <laughs> yes, that's it. Where are you? Have you lost something, Mr. Forgetful? I've lost uh, um, uh, a little bird I was looking for, for, for Little Miss Wise. Uh, but I'm Little Miss Wise, and I don't have a bird. Anyway, what would you say to a nice cup of tea? Good idea. Hmm. Hmm, this looks like the right sort of place, doesn't it? Uh, uh, waiter! But you're my waiter. Back to work, lazy balls. I'm sorry, I don't even know you. Waiter, what have you done with my little dog? What dog? Uh, of course, the little dog you gave Mr. Greedy for his dessert. Oh, how could you have eaten my poor little poodle? <laughs> <laughs> the Melbourne dog. Oh, no! My poor little poodle! <laughs> There you are, my sweet! So the lost man didn't eat you. It's too hectic for me here. What would you say to a little stroll? Thank you for showing me the way home. I was quite uh, lost, you know. It was no trouble at all. Goodbye, little Miss. Uh, little Miss. Uh, uh, oh, wise. Word, I'm starving. Cheese, eggs, cauliflower, alarm clock, shoes. Oh, of course, milk. That's what I need. I must go and buy some uh, uh, milk.
Mr. Jelly show a bravery. Can you guess who lives all alone in the heart of the forest? Why, Mr. Jelly, of course. Mr. Jelly is afraid of everything, especially people. <laughs> Mr. Jelly, I hope everything's all right. I'm scared. I heard a knock at the door. Hello. Oh. I'm little Miss Tiny, and you must be Mr. Jelly. Uh, yes. Can I help you? Oh, I just dropped by to say hello. How very kind. I never see anyone. I ever know. Shutting yourself away won't help at all. I'm sure you're right. Well, I must be going, Mr. Jelly. You really can't stay? No, I'm going wild strawberry picking. Like to come? Oh, no. I'm much too frightened of the forest. But uh, would you like to come to lunch after your walk? I'd love to. See you later, then. See you later, little Miss Tiny. <laughs> It is way past lunchtime, and Mr. Jelly was very worried that little Miss Tiny had got lost. <laughs> little Miss Tiny! Oh, oh, oh. Where are you? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Rush. I need you to help me find little Miss Tiny, who's got lost in the forest. Hello? Hello? Whoa. What can I do for you? Well, that really was quick. Hurry up, I'm in a rush. Little Miss Tiny has got lost in the forest and... She isn't there. But, Mr. Rush, that's impossible. You haven't already. Sorry, but I have an appointment. Goodbye. So Mr. Jelly phoned someone else to ask them to help. Oh, uh, hello, little Miss Contrary. Thank you for coming. Goodbye, Mr. Jelly. Come on in. I'll open the door. So you found little Miss Tiny, then? No, I'm afraid I haven't. I see. But little Miss Contrary. I'm sorry, but little Miss Greedy just isn't here. Bye-bye. You're my last chance, Mr. Mounts. Now don't you worry. I'm sure I'll find her. <laughs> Oh, 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 Mr. Bounce, where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> Poor Mr. Jenny, he is terrified. I can't leave little Miss Tiny all alone in the middle of the storm. Can't hear anything. At last, there she is. I found little Miss Tiny.
Mr. Strong, King of the Circus. Oh. Do you know where Mr. Strong gets his strength from? La, 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 la. Nothing beats a good omelette. He eats eggs. And the more eggs he eats, the stronger he gets. Unfortunately, Mr. Strong doesn't realize how strong he is. Uh oh. He is so strong that he has to be especially careful. Otherwise, he breaks everything. Mr. Strong even manages to break things he doesn't touch. An amazing circus show, right here in your town. <laughs> Great, the circus. I have a feeling this is going to be a fun day. Oh, quick, hitch up the elephant. We must free Chuckles and his monkey. I'll have you out, out of there in a jiffy, little fellow. Well, please help. Hang on, here I come. Help me, please. Don't you worry, my friend. Nothing broken? <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> what a grip! <laughs> what a fright we had! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Strong, at your service. Oh, well done, Mr. Strong. I, I would you like to join my circus? The greatest of pleasure. <laughs> Never before seen Nona. The strongest man in the world, Mr. Strong, will carry a whole family of elephants on his shoulders. It's that clumsy old Mr. Strong <laughs> showing off again, Little Miss Trouble. So let's play a little joke on him. Let's see how strong Mr. Strong really is without his eggs. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, the strongest man in the world, Mr. Strong. <laughs> I'll never manage it. I haven't had my omelette for tea. Don't you worry. I'll take care of that. <laughs> and now, Mr. Strong will lift up the old elephant family before your very eyes. <laughs> You look a little under the weather. Well, I am a little tired, but it will pass. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting booed, the clumsy old thing. <laughs> He's only getting what he deserves. <laughs> <laughs> Three cheers for Mr. Strong. Hey, hey, hey. Well done, Mr. Strong. You are fantastic. Would you like to join me for supper tonight? So Mr. Strong did. And you know what they had for supper? That's right. Eggs, of course. <laughs>
Mr. Nonsense rose to the moon. The little birds will be happy. In Nonsense Land, nobody is surprised when Mr. Nonsense does strange things. What a stupid idea to give sweets to birds. Such waste. Besides, it's very bad for their beaks. <laughs> Mr. Bean always carries his fortune with him. He never leaves his money at home for fear of being robbed. 11, 12, 30, 40. <laughs> Mr. Greedy and little Miss Greedy will give me a good price for these. <laughs> I'll try to get more. So long as one sweet remains, Mr. Mean won't leave. Hello, little Miss Wise speaking. <laughs> I know it's you, Mr. Nonsense. I'd like to take you on a boat trip. Little Miss Wise. I like proper boat trips. Your boat doesn't move, not even an inch. Oh, that's true. But like my old friend Mr. Clever would say, if you don't go forward, you're going backwards. <laughs> so I'm moving backwards. Little Miss Wise, I promise we'll go on a proper outing. If you mean a real outing where I can see the sights, then I accept your invitation. Good. I'll give her the trip of her life. This is my passport to outer space. <laughs> give it to me. Oh, how pretty you are, little sparrow. What's your name? If he answers, the sweet is mine. <laughs> you wait till I catch you. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Mr. Nonsense! I'll send down the lift. A wise move. Oh, oh. Ready for the outing! So long as it's safe. Oh! Oh! This is my passport to outer space. My fortune. Oh, my precious fortune. Well, let's go home. Help! Help! May I inquire where we're going, Mr. Nonsense? To the moon. Oh, is that wise? Help! Help! Oh, <laughs> help! We have a stowaway on board. It's Mr. Mean. <laughs> Sorry, no free ride. I'll throw you the life belt, cabin boy. Water, water. <laughs> We're losing altitude. You'll have to jump. Uh, no. We're too heavy. You wouldn't throw me out of the window, would you? You do have a very heavy bag here, you know. I'm getting altitude, but we must dump some ballast. Mr. Mean, throw your bag overboard. Oh, never. Come now, be sensible. Oh, if my money goes, then I'm going to. <coughs> I won't forget this, Mr. Nonsense. My bag! Where's my bag? A little Miss Wise. <laughs> Let's go for a stroll on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Is that wise, Mr. Nonsense? <laughs> <laughs>
Mr. Fussy takes a well-earned break. It's still dark, but already it's time for Mr. Fussy to get oh. up. He's going oh. on holiday today. Mr. Fussy can't bear things being out of place. Oh, that's much better. Hello, Mr. Parrot. Hello, Mr. Fussy. Better? A little more to the left. What a mess. <laughs> and as for you, it's bath time. No, not a bath. Let's get Mr. Parrot nice and clean. Help! Someone, help! Come, uh, uh, wait just uh, wait till I get my hands on you. This parrot has such bad manners. <laughs> I do like perfectly white teeth. In fact, I like everything to be just perfect. Everything's perfect. All we need now is the taxi. The oh. picture has some dust on it. Oh, no! These flowers are a disgrace. Time for your bath. Time oh, for your no. bath. All right, I'm going. Oh. Hello, Mr. Stamp. No, don't come in. You'll make a mess. Don't move. I'm coming. The carpet! The carpet! <laughs> I must always wipe my feet on the mat before coming into the house. Repeat. I must always wipe my feet. Very good. And now go and get the hoover. The hoover! The hoover! Oh. The engine's got problems. The engine's got problems. Keep your comments to yourself. Help! Help! Phew! Oh. There. Now, all I have to do is put Mr. Parrot in his cage. Try and catch me! <laughs> Come here, Mr. Parrot. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Mr. Parrot, don't, don't, you're very, very naughty. Come here. Uh, wait, just wait till I get my hands on you. Well, who can that be? The taxi! The taxi! Oh, you're right, yes. I, I'd better open the door. Hello, Mr Grumble. So, you're the taxi driver? Yes, and it's no fun, I can tell you. In your cage, or I'll leave you at home. You should have said so earlier. Hurry up. I haven't got all day. I must put the cases in the boot in order of size. Oh, no, no. Be careful. Hey, fuss pot, that'll do. Get in the car right now. Help! Help! You might as well get the Hoover out whilst you're at it. No! To the airport. I really hate planes. This isn't the way to the airport. I know. I have to pick up another passenger first. Oh, there he is. Good morning, Mr. Messy. Good morning, Mr. Messy. Oh, hello, Mr. Parrot. Would you like a sweet? Uh. He doesn't like sweets. Oh, that'll do. Where exactly is it you're flying? To, to the, the sunny Shining Isles. Oh, what fun. We'll be together for a whole month. What fun.
Mr. Clumsy in the Brains and the Brawn. Have you met Mr. Clumsy? <laughs> the clumsiest fellow in the world? Goodness me, I have been chosen to compete in the Brain and the Brawn. Good evening to you all. Such an excellent turnout for our legendary program, the, the, the... Brain and the Broad! When the curtain goes up, you will discover our first contestant. <laughs> now, will our contestant be the Brains or the Brawn? Fate will decide. Heads the Brain, tails the Brawn. It's your move, Mr. Clumsy. <laughs> That's a good start because our contestant, Mr. Clumsy, is clearly a real acrobat. <laughs> and our hero is back. Mr. Clumsy, now we're going to draw lots to see who will be the, the... The Brain! The Brain! The Brain! The brain. The brain. <laughs> Looks like old Mr. Clumsy is going to come a cropper, little Miss Trouble. Yes, Mr. Rappity. Ladies and gentlemen, simply pop your names in this hat, which will be passed amongst you if you would like to stand for the brains. No, it's all right, thank you. I already have a hat. What are you up to, little Miss Trouble? I've written Mr. Dizzy's name on every bit of paper. Now you can draw your partner's name. <laughs> And Mr. Clumsy's partner, who will be the brains this evening, is Mr. Dizzy! Come up and join us on the podium, Mr. Dizzy. Uh, 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 I didn't do anything. Not yet. Come up onto the podium, Mr. Dizzy. Dizzy! 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 The brains and the brawn. Here they are. First question for the brains. Is the moon round or square? Quiet, please. No whispering. Uh, uh well, it, it's, it's round. You're nearly uh, there. Round. Uh, 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 square? Wrong. <laughs> Mr. Clumsy, your reply. Round. Correct. But it's your partner who should have said it. Ladies and gentlemen, to make up for Mr. Dizzy's wrong answer, Mr. Clumsy will climb up the mast and bring down a plate of cakes! Come on! 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 Zero for the brains, zero for the brawn. Second question for Mr. Dizzy. Two and two make... Three? And now Mr. Clumsy will take part in the water test. The water, the water test! The water, the water test. test! Do you know how to swim, Mr. Clumsy? Uh, a little. Perfect. You see this coin, ladies and gentlemen? When I throw it into the pool, Mr. Clumsy will go and get it. <laughs> Thanks to the brains and the brawn, everything is going... <laughs> uh, do we have to come back for the next round?
Mr. Brave goes ghost hunting. Help! Help! Hold help. on, Mr. Bounce. I'll get you out of there. Goodness, I can't climb onto that roof. It would collapse. That's a sh... <laughs> the spot's getting up my nose. Ah, Mr. Brave, you're just the man. It's Mr. Brave! It's Mr. Brave! Mr. Brave. Oh, Mr. Brave. Oh, Mr. Brave! Mr. Bounce bounced into the chimney and now he's stuck. Would you mind putting me down? I, I'm quite giddy. Only you can save him. Oh. Mr. Brave is certainly brave, but that roof is very steep. Oh. 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 Be brave! Be brave, Be brave Mr. Brave! Mr. brave. Uh, Mr. Bounce, are you all right? Yes, except I can't move. Can you catch hold of my hand? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <coughs> yes, I've got it. I only did my duty and nothing more. He gets all the attention. That Mr. Brave deserves a good lesson. That's given me an idea. There's nothing like a strawberry milkshake to get you over a nasty fright. There's no peace for the brave. Mr. Brave. Oh, is that you, Mr. Worry? It's me, and I'm worried. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. What? A ghost knocking at your window? Everyone knows ghosts don't exist. <laughs> well, all right, I, I'll come if that'll make you feel better. I was about to read this funny book so as not to have any bad dreams, when suddenly... <laughs> oh, I turned round to see who it was. <laughs> I beg you, Mr. Brave, do something. I'm not going to be scared of a ghost. Get me a broom. Just wait till I catch you. <laughs> Have you seen anything? He's hiding somewhere out there. Perhaps he was frightened by you. I'm sure he was. <laughs> me glasses. Where are me glasses? When I put my hand on his shoulder, <laughs> I thought he was going to faint. <laughs> now, be calm, Mr. Brave. You can't see without your glasses, so open up your ears. <laughs> I really put the wind up, Mr. Brave. <laughs> what fun we're having. <laughs> How about us giving Mr. Worry a good dose of goosebumps? Oh, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mr. Worry. Yes? I know who the ghost is. We are going to teach him a lesson. Mr. Apathy, little Miss Trouble, <laughs> who dares take my place? <laughs> Story I'll tell myself before falling asleep. Oh, thank you, Mr. Brave. You truly are a brave man. <laughs> Underneath, I, I suppose it's true. I, I am pretty brave. <laughs>
Isn't Little Miss Trouble kind? Little Miss Trouble is out for a drive with Mr Mischief in his car. It has just stopped raining. <laughs> My dear Little Miss Trouble, shall we drive through a big puddle and splash Mr Dizzy? No, don't do that. I've decided to be kind today. Pull over next to Mr Dizzy. I'll have some chocolates for him. <laughs> we must do Philly. Hello, Mr Dizzy. Would you care for a chocolate? Uh, no, thank you, Little Miss Trouble. Uh, I've been told that you aren't a kind person. Now, who told you that? I am not a telltale, and I promised Mr. Stamp that I wouldn't repeat what Mr. Greedy and Little Miss Splendid had said to him. Go ahead and splash him! Oh, Little Miss Trouble is very annoyed. Poor Mr. Stamp, poor Mr. Greedy, poor Little Miss Splendid. They don't know what's in store for them. <laughs> These are what I call real presents. <laughs> Hello? Post office, is that you, Mr Stamp? <laughs> Little Miss Trouble has some presents to deliver. <laughs> Could you drop by? Here is our first visitor. Do come in, Mr Stamp. Oh, oh, oh. Where am I? <laughs> Poor Mr Stamp, you really are very unlucky. <laughs> Little Miss Trouble and I will go and deliver the parcels while you dry off. <laughs> Who dares bother me at tea time? <laughs> A present for you, Mr. Greedy. Oh. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Oh, great. Oh, this will just do for a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I'm not a kind person, but I do make a lovely hot pepper tart. <laughs> mirror, mirror, on the wall. Oh, excuse me. A present for you, little Miss Splendid. Yet another admirer. Thank you, my good man. Oh, what a lovely mirror. Oh! What has happened to me? I'm so ugly! The distorting mirror trick was fun, wasn't it? Let's take this present round to Mr Dizzy. That will teach him to spread rumours. Hello, Mr Dizzy. <laughs> what are you looking for? I'm looking for hen's tea. <laughs> but hens don't have teeth. But I was told that I'd be intelligent the day hens have teeth. I have a present for you. Oh, you shouldn't have. Try them on. Oh. Oh, aren't they a, a little small for me? Not at all. They'll soon stretch. And the best way is for you to walk round town ten times. All right, here I go. Oh. Little Miss Trouble must be kind. After all, she has given me such a lovely pair of shoes. In fact, I really should give Little Miss Trouble something in return. I know what. I'll give her a bracelet made of honey-filled sweets. A present for you, Little Miss Trouble. Poor old Dizzy's present is a little sticky. <laughs> Mr. Dizzy's gift certainly taught Little Miss Trouble the biggest lesson of all. You see, bees just love honey-filled sweets. <laughs>
Job for Little Miss Giggles. Can you guess the first thing that Little Miss Giggles does when she wakes up? She smiles, of course. <laughs> and it's like that all day long. <laughs> the slightest thing makes Little Miss Giggles laugh. Hello, little Miss Giggles. Hello, little Miss Greedy. <laughs> Today, little Miss Giggles is starting a new job as a waitress in a very, very smart restaurant at the golf club. <laughs> now remember, this is a very respectable establishment and the service must be faultless. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Slow service. Where is the waiter? Here I am. <laughs> and about time, too. I'll have some mashed spaghetti with ketchup and a strawberry milkshake. Yes, Mr. Grumble. <laughs> mashed spaghetti with ketchup hmm. and a strawberry milkshake. <laughs> Do you mind telling me why you giggle like that all the time? I mean, are you making fun of me? Of course not. <laughs> the manager, get me the manager. What's the matter, Mr. Grumble? She won't stop laughing at me. She giggles all the time. I do apologize, Mr. Grumble. It won't happen again, I promise. <laughs> now, come now, little Miss Giggles. You know that Mr. Grumble isn't our most easy customer. Giggling in front of him like that won't do at all. But I'm not giggling. <laughs> right. Go and take drinks out to the golfers and do try to control yourself. I, I promise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice shot, Mr. Appetit. <laughs> wasn't it, Mr. Cheerful? Oh. oh, jolly good shot indeed. It wasn't that bad, Mr. Happy, I must admit. I can do better. Just you wait, my friends. You won't believe your eyes. <laughs> the manager! Get me the manager! I mean now! What's the matter, Mr. Apathy? This person is making a total fool of me. Now I've lost, and all because of her. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Apathy. It won't happen again, I promise. <laughs> Miss Giggles, I'm giving you one last chance. You can go and work in the shop. <laughs> But I'm telling you, Little Miss Splendid, this shop is very chic. <laughs> Doesn't this one suit me? It really is just my style. Oh, and this one is for me. <laughs> well, I never. She's laughing at us. Let's call the manager. We've tried everything, Little Miss huh? Giggles. I'm very sorry, but I simply cannot keep you. Oh. Little Miss Giggles doesn't seem worried, but she has to find a new job all the same. At last, it looks like Little Miss Giggles has finally found the right job.
Weekend with Little Miss Contrary. Little Miss Wise is going to visit Little Miss Contrary for the first time. She's been invited for the weekend. I'm looking forward to a peaceful weekend in the country. <laughs> Would you drive more carefully, please? Sorry, but we've arrived at Nonsense Land. I'm not allowed to drive any further. Pardon? <laughs> Welcome to Nonsense Land. Hold tight. You'll see a lot of strange and surprising things in Nonsense Land. <laughs> Goodbye, little Miss Wise. Please leave at once. Oh, uh, uh, yes, all right. How strange. Ah, I'm delighted you like it. I rearranged the sitting room specially for you. Oh, do keep your suitcase. Thank you. <gasps> Drink lollies? But that's impossible. You're so right. Just what you need when you're thirsty. <clears throat> I think it would be a wise idea if I went to lie down in my room. Yes, a walk. It's a terrible afternoon. What a good idea. Blue grass. Everything's quite extraordinary around here, little Miss Contrary. Thank you, little Miss Contrary. This stroll is doing me the world of good. Dash, the sun. Let's stop here. Oh, uh, I think it would be wise if I went to bed. Yes, but don't forget to put your hat at the foot of the Christmas apple tree. I think that is just another one of your silly ideas, Little Miss Contrary. But Little Miss Contrary was right. Oh, I... Because in Nonsense Land, Father Christmas comes every night except Christmas. Oh, I... Well, if you're tired, why not go to bed? I have to wait for my alarm clock not to ring. Oh! Good morning. Everyone in the house slept peacefully, except little Miss Y. I don't believe this. Good morning. Goodbye. How wonderful you look. I see your stay with me has done you the world of good. Did Santa Claus bring me anything? No, thank you. Where's my present? Where it should be. In the dustbin. Little Miss Contrary had thrown <gasps> away the gift and kept the paper. It's always like that in Nonsense Land. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Little Miss Contrary. Goodbye. Hello, Little Miss Wise. No doubt about it, that Little Miss Wise is really quite peculiar.
Golly, Mr. Grump is smiling. Just like every morning, Mr. Grumpy has woken up in a bad mood. Huh. Same old blue sky. How boring. <gasps> Please, Miss Sunshine, after you. Thank you, Mr. Rush. Soon as the sun shines, they all think they have to be in a good mood. Shopping. Yet more shopping. What a pain. As you see, he's not just grumpy by name, but grumpy by nature. Ah, here's Mr. Strong, Mr. Happy, and little Miss Sunshine. And what's more, I have to queue. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Grumpy. Grumpy! Have you all come shopping at the same time as me on purpose, or what? After you, Mr. Grumpy. Go ahead, Mr. Grumpy. I've all the time in the world. So have I. Haven't they got anything better to do? Now, what can I do for you, Mr. Grumpy, on such a lovely day? What's lovely about it? Give me a pint of milk and make it snappy. Here, Mr. Grumpy. Are you sure it's fresh? Fresh this morning. Goodbye, Mr. Grumpy. Have a nice day, Mr. Grumpy. Goodbye, Mr. Grumpy. Have a nice day, Mr. Grumpy. Hello, Mr. Grumpy. Have a nice day, Mr. Grumpy. Why are they all in such a good mood? <coughs> My milk! Now look what's happened! And all because of those happy idiots! Oh. What on earth is wrong, Mr. Grumpy? You can be heard for miles around. What's wrong, Miss Magic? What's wrong? I'm fed up with this town. And of all the silly fools who smile all the time. Do calm down, Mr. Grumpy. I can see to that if you like. Hmm. And just how, may I ask? Wait and see. Grumpy, Grumpy. Everyone be Grumpy. The next day, as usual, Mr. Grumpy woke up in a bad mood. <laughs> Raining today. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> look out! Can't you look where you're going? Pint of milk, and be sure it's fresh. Hey, I was here first. So was I. What a way to behave. Get in the queue. Queue jumper. Just wait till I get my hands on you, you bad-tempered fellow. Come now, Mr. Grumpy. I was only trying to do you a favour. You said that you were sick of happy people. Well, I've, uh, I've changed my mind. I, I prefer them as they were. As you wish. Last, everything is back to normal. Phew. That's much better. Quick, take a look. This is probably the first time you'll ever see Mr. Grumpy smile. And it's probably the last.
Mr. Lazy can't sleep anymore. What are Little Miss Splendid and Mr. Strong doing out and about so early? Here he is. They've arranged to meet Mr. Rush. Are you ready? We are, but Mr. Lazy isn't here. be doing leave this to me little miss splendid goodness me mr lazy really does have a difficult time waking up in the morning he's going to make us late yoo-hoo mr lazy get up oh do wake up well are you ready oh. for our little outing mr lazy oh, oh yeah. Yes. Come on, everyone. Off we go. It's lunchtime already. Already? I'm famished. Oh. I know a nice little inn which makes the most delicious raspberry jam omelets in all the world. Sounds Ooh. wonderful, doesn't it, Mr. Lazy? Let's tuck in. What about Mr. Lazy? Bad luck. He's too busy sleeping. This omelette is delicious. <laughs> what a spread. <laughs> I wouldn't say no to another dozen. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Strong. We really must be going now. And what is next, Mr. Rush? Aha, that's a surprise. Go on, Mr. Rush. Do tell us. No, then it wouldn't be a surprise. You're so secretive, Mr. Rush. A genuine medieval castle. Ooh, so this was your surprise. Wake oh. up, you can't miss this, Mr. Lazy. <laughs> Follow your guide. Such a wonderful idea, Mr. Rush. This is the courtyard. Just look at those cannons. The king's dining room. I wonder if the king ate omelets. Step this way for the rest of the tour. The king's bedroom. That's sturdy stuff. And now, everyone to the tower. Look at the view. I can't climb up there. Allow me to help you, little Miss Splendid. Oh, Mr. Strong. Thank you, Mr. Strong. OK, ladies and gentlemen, the tour is over. It's home time. Where's Mr. Lazy? There he is. Thanks to you, Mr. Lazy, we are late again. I'm simply exhausted. And that night, everyone went to bed early. Everyone except Mr. Lazy. As he sleeps all day, Mr. Lazy isn't tired at night. So he watches his favorite video on television. <laughs> That's right. It's a video of himself fast asleep. Good night, Mr. Lacey. <laughs>
Mr. Small's Big Dream. Little Miss Greedy, Mr. Skinny, Mr. Busy and Mr. Small are as happy as can be. They're going to the fair. Just you wait. You're going to see a terrific show, a real live animal act. It's incredible. Oh, yippee. Dodgeons. Oh. I'm the best. You'll see. Hang on. That's not the way to the show. Just one lap. Come on, Mr. Small. Hey, watch it! Wait, wait. This is for boys in the big league, Mr. Small. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor Mr. Small. Candy floss. Who wants candy floss? Me, me, I do. Me too. And me. What about my shawl? I'll take three. Just a stick for me, please. Can I have a small one? Here we are. Thank you. Oh, how rude can you get, Mr Busy? What do you expect, little Miss Greedy? You're far too slow. Uh, can I have one, please? Hmm, thank you. And what about me? Five, five, please. Uh, please. I'll take three. Poor Mr. Small. Nobody even heard him. Roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen. Who wants to challenge the strongest man in the world? How do you fancy your chances against him, Mr. Busy? <laughs> oh, oh I, I'm much too busy. What about sending Mr. Small up? Oh, oh. <laughs> Very funny. Shall we go and see the show now? Oh, funny mirrors. <laughs> what fun! Hmm. I'm not sure I approve of this. <laughs> this is the boys in the big league, Mr. Busy. Come and buy my candy floss. Who wants candy floss? Give me a big one. The biggest you have. Oh, dear. It's so great to be tall. Well then, still no volunteers? Call yourselves brave? You're a bunch of chickens. I'm not afraid of that, weakling. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Meet the strongest man in the world. <laughs> You're hired. Well, Mr. Small, have you forgotten the show? Mm, <laughs> pigs might fly. Four, please. Sorry, there's no performance today. The trainer's injured. Well, I can stand in for him if you like. I've already seen the show three times. Oh, oh Mr. Small, you must be mad. You can't. Mm, I suppose we could. OK, you're iron. Oh, dear. <laughs> this will be amusing. <laughs> that was Mr. Small, the greatest frog trainer in the world. Mr. Small is delighted. He had always dreamt of being a trainer, and at last, he has found animals the right size. <laughs>
Mr. Bounce finds paradise. Do you know what Mr. Bounce's problem is? He simply can't stop bouncing. Mr. Bounce, how nice of you to drop by. Oh, what a mess you live in, Mr. Messy. <laughs> There's Mr. Mischief. <laughs> I wonder what he's up to. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, Mr. Tickle, it certainly got bounce. Oh. Mr. Bounce, what on earth are you doing there? Just hurry up and get me down from here. <laughs> certainly, Mr. Bounce. <laughs> oh, please, please stop! Oh, I beg! <laughs> we really must stop meeting like this, Mr. Bounce. There goes little Jimmy, headed for the beach, no doubt. He's off to the beach. Now there's a great place to bounce around. Mr. Lazy. Oops, so sorry, Mr. Greedy. You're not very well organized, are you, Mr. Bounce? That's where oh. bouncers go. Perhaps Little Miss Tidy's idea isn't so bad after all. Of course, it is a little boring jumping up and down on the same spot, but at least it isn't dangerous, unless... Oh, bravo, Mr. Bounce. My, that looks like such fun. Yippee! My goodness, where on earth have I landed this time? Oh. Mr. Bounce is delighted. And what's more, there's not much chance of having an accident in the desert. Or is there? <laughs> 